The purpose of this screencast is to show you how to use RCS in a real case scenario. We have a suspect that is organizing a crime. We want to get as much information as possible about its relationships with other bad guys. We want to know what they are planning. Let's have a look at how we can easily achieve this task with Remote Control System. The RCS console is the interface platform used to manage all the tasks and operations related to cyber investigations. This interface is the gateway where everything is configured, created, implemented, viewed, delegated and concluded. Strong privilege separation is granted by enabling different access levels depending on the user. Different users have individual usernames and passwords. Each user has exclusive access to the investigations assigned to him. In order to start an investigation, you need to set up some tasks. First of all, you need to create an investigation. Define the person you want to investigate as a target, and then create the back door, which is the main component to collect data. For this presentation, we will name the investigation Terror in Milan. You can fill in a brief description and an optional contact. Then you need to assign the investigation to a specific user group to grant them access. Now let's create a target associated with the individual under investigation. For this example, his name is John Doe. Always include a brief description for every target created. Now the back door can be created. Since the target uses a desktop computer, let's select a desktop type back door that will later be installed on John's computer. You may want to monitor a few other devices John uses, like his work computer or his mobile phone. This can be done by creating more backdoors. Depending upon the investigation, a backdoor may need to operate differently from other backdoors on other investigations. This is done by introducing different agents to the backdoor. So once a backdoor is installed, it is possible to modify the behavior to collect only the data that is important to the investigation. Many agents are available, each one responsible for collecting a specific type of data. Configuration is done by using a very flexible event action logic, making this task simple and intuitive. To simplify even more, Create the configuration using one of the predefined templates found in the RCS console, then make changes according to the scenario at hand. Each event triggers one or more associated actions. Here, we have just a few events that trigger common operations, such as data transmission and disk space saving. Along with the active agents, you may want to enable other functionalities. For example, in this investigation, you are interested in mail messages and contacts. You can now save the configuration and proceed to build an installation vector suitable for your target. We know John often receives Microsoft Word documents from his peers, so let's create an exploit for a Word document. For creating the exploit, you need to select the target platform and the category level you want to use. A list of available exploits will be presented from which you can select the desired one. Let's create our exploit and send it to John. The document is sent to the target computer. When John opens the file, the back door will be installed on his system. Data collection starts right away. 
For this demo only, once the back door is installed, an informational window appears on the screen and the desktop wallpaper is changed. Again, do not be afraid. During an actual investigation, this will not happen. The target will not be aware that RCS has been installed on his system. Now John, our target, is sending an email to his partner in crime. This email includes some instructions about their plan. Meanwhile, the back door transfers all the collected data to the central server according to the configuration. A stealth and secure channel is used for transmission, so there is no risk of any loss of collected data. Our operation is kept confidential at all times. Let's open the RCS console. From here, you can review the data collected on the target computer. We find that the camera agent has captured some facial pictures of our target, John. By browsing the collected snapshots of John's desktop, you can easily figure out what he's doing with his computer. Want to know his location? Track him on a detailed map. Cannot be any easier, can it? The email sent by John to Mr. Smith was collected so you can read it. Mark it as important for future reference. Looking at the address book, you can discover the real name and other interesting details about Mr. Smith. Summing up, we discovered that John has a partner in crime, we have the email address of his partner. We know the partner has an important document. He will probably use a webmail. Let's try to catch him. With all this information at your hands, it's very easy to figure out that Mr. Smith is someone you are interested in. You decide to put him under investigation too. So let's proceed creating a new target for Mr. Smith. Creating a new target for Mr. Smith is now a simple operation. Just replicate what you've done for John and create a new back door. For Mr. Smith, you may want to enable different agents to better suit your needs, so let's make a few modifications to the back door configuration. In his email, John referred to some critical document you absolutely want to capture. So let's instruct the backdoor agent to collect a copy of all the documents he opens. Let's also enable Skype recording in case he's going to call someone. Since we have access to the ISP of the second target, this time we can use something special. Let's set up the injection proxy. This device permits you to monitor all of Mr. Smith's network traffic, and by modifying some of it, installing the back door on his laptop becomes very easy. He won't be aware of anything. The injection proxy gives you many ways of identifying your target. Since you already know the email address of Mr. Smith, by matching it, the injection proxy can easily identify his network traffic. The rule we're setting up will install the back door on Mr. Smith's computer when he logs into his Hotmail account. You just need to push the rules to the injection proxy, then wait. Data about Mr. Smith is going to come in a matter of minutes. Mr. Smith is now logging into his own email account. The back door will be installed without him doing anything or realizing what has happened. Have you noticed the desktop wallpaper? This one was easy. In his inbox, he finds the email sent to him by John.
When Mr. Smith opens the file, the back door captures the new document. You'll receive it soon. Using Skype, Mr. Smith now calls John to confirm he received the instructions. This call is recorded as well. Hello, John speaking. I received the instructions. I will stop the surprise. Okay, go on. Goodbye. Now you can access all the evidence collected on Mr. Smith's computer. Let's open the document you've been waiting for. You can listen to the recorded Skype call by using the media player embedded into RCS console. Hello, John speaking. I received the instructions. I will stop the surprise. Okay, go on. Goodbye. We have gone through easy to install and easy to collect operations of the RCS using only the RCS console. You have witnessed how easy and intuitive the system is from the beginning to the end of the data collecting investigation. We have also witnessed the incredible flexibility and variety of information that can be gathered. And yet we have only scratched the surface of what RCS can do. RCS is an organic system that will let you grow and collect as little as needed or as much as needed with the same effort of ease. All functions operate in the same way no matter what platform you're working with. This makes the user a data collecting expert on all PCs, Macs, and a variety of mobile smartphones in record time. Intercepting targets has never been easier. Remote control system is easy from start to finish and gives you exactly the evidence you're looking for.